everyone i hope you're having an amazing day uh so today we will be looking at SOCAL and social queries um so uh, i will be uh going through the trailhead documentation uh which is pretty um handy in my opinion and and it covers a lot of uh stuff so if you remember in our last lecture we talked about um a bit about the the SOCAL queries i've demonstrated how to do a select and um, order by and group by so we'll have a look at that again just a refresher and then we'll move to social query so today's session will be a bit sh shorter um so yeah uh let's dive in okay so this is the trailhead uh page for uh platform dev so um as usual you know the so-called query is very handy so-called queries you use so-called queries in um in Salesforce to get the data from a an object, Salesforce object. If you know which uh, Salesforce object uh, you would like to uh, get the data from, then Sokol Query is the best way to do that. So for instance, if you wanted to uh, look for um, an account information where you know the name of an account so you can uh, get the rest of the information from that account of object, uh, like select ID, uh, <coughs> type, address from an account where name equals to right or you can even use the wild character so um, <clears throat> excuse me uh, this is one of the stuff here um, select name phone from accounts so you can as you can see this is the uh, this is used in apex so we are actually uh, getting a list of um, account record to an uh, account object uh, a list of an account um, so, or you can also type this list of account and ACCT, right? This is another way. Um, so this is here, I'll uh, create a few accounts. So as you can see that, um, so this is pretty straightforward. If you are someone from a, uh, SQL, uh, background, you will find this very easy to use. And, uh, so for instance, this, let's give an example, uh, go to, so I presume you know how to uh, run a query, right? I've demonstrated that in my last lecture, so I will do that again. Uh, the first thing first, you need to log into your uh, developer account, right? And then you go to the Scarecog icon and then go to developer console. And I'll just take a minute to load, okay? Um, so this is a query code, which we've written in our pre for our previous uh, exercise we've done. Okay, so go to query editor. So copy paste this code here, and so it's it gave you uh, the list. It gives you the list of uh, name, phone uh, from account, and you can also filter by bare name, uh, likes. Okay, and um, say so test uh, percentage. Okay, so it will return everything. Uh, oh, sorry, not the star. My mistake. Okay where it um, returns everything which starts with the word test, right? Okay, so if you wanted something which starts with the word test one, um, you see it will further filter the query. Um, so, right. And so you can do a lot of wild character operation there, right? Uh, this is pretty handy. Um, you can do order by. So if you wanted to order uh, by say name or by type, in ascending or descending, you can do that as well, right? Um, so I would encourage you to go through this trailer documentation. I will put the link below. Um, and uh, yeah, and so you can see uh, something similar where name and you can use and or or operation. So if you can see uh, in this scenario, uh, let's take this scenario. This uh, So this will get uh, every uh, information from an account, every record from an account where name equals to. Uh, SFTC computing, right? So SFTC computing in this case, we are not using a wild character to say that, okay, uh, give me something which starts, you know, with SFTC computing or give me something uh, where name contains uh, SFTC. No, this is uh, saying, give me uh, all the records uh, from an account where name equals to SFTC computing, right? All right, so the next condition we filter down even further. So it's saying, give me an account where name equals SFTC computing and the number of employees is greater than 25. So, so to get the result back, right, these two conditions has to be true. 
So this has to be true, this has to be true. Let's say if the number of employees are less than 25, so this result will totally be false, right? So true and true will return true, true and true will become false, okay? Um, in this case, uh, it's a little bit more interesting. So where you have name or, so what happens is that either of this condition becomes true, uh, you will get the data, right? So that's how it is, or condition. So uh, true or false will return true, true or true will return true, and false or false will become, uh, will return false, right? So this is a Boolean uh, expression you need to uh, understand. I hope you know uh, these things, right? This is very basic. Um, so it's, so okay, so let's go to uh, query but order by as I mentioned to you before um, we can have order by sending let's say you wanted to order by amount is sending so all the sendings and then if you wanted to order by sending uh, so all the bigger values will be displayed at the top then as you uh, progress downwards you will uh, the values keep on shrinking right so <clears throat> and then you can also limit the number of records so this one very classic example and um, let's go back to here. So if you wanted to uh, limit, say, limit, say three, you will get three. Um, oh, sorry, not this one. Um, okay. So if you say three, it will get three. So it's pretty handy. Uh, you should know this option you will be using all the time. Uh, most of the time, if not all the time, uh, depending upon the context and the business requirement, right? Um, so this is pretty... Uh, this is how you, you will be using it in a scenario, right, where you will be using where clause and order by and limit depends, right? So um, so uh, this is how you use an Apex. So in generally, uh, what happens is that if, since you will be a developer, right, since you're uh, uh, going to uh, take platform depth, so I presume you will be a, a developer. So, uh, or even if you're an admin, uh, so while writing a query, right, so you need to... Uh, um, keep all this thing into consideration when to use the order by, when to use limit, when to uh, use where clause. So I would expect you to have that much understanding because it's it's like a, you know SoCal is it's a, it's a kind of a language. It's like you're talking to the database to say, look, let's have a conversation with the database and let's get the stuff out of it, right? So you're saying, give me all the records. Give me something which says, it's like a simple conversation you have with someone, right? You go and uh, talk to someone, look, say, hey, I want this information, right? And they will ask what exact information you're looking for. So that's where the where clause comes in the picture, where you uh, narrow down the, you know, search, uh, narrow down the, the thing which you are expecting. So, um, yeah, so, and if you are uh, using uh, on an Apex, you will use something. So because you you will get a data set and it'll store in a list or a map, and then you do whatever you want to do with that, right? So <clears throat> that's one of the thing. And so and you can also uh, look for a, um, number of uh, d different objects that's contained in an org. Uh, so you need to look for the API. Uh, there's a, I, I can't remember the top of my head, there's something to do with the, um, the API name from metadata. So, but there is a limit to that. You can't uh, fetch more than certain records to that. Um, so, yeah. Um, so this is, uh, so this is a social, uh, social reference. And I will put this uh, in the link, right? Uh, so that you can go through it. I would encourage you to read this documentation. It's very handy. Uh, just don't rely on what I uh, teach, right? Because it's very important that you go and read the other stuff as well. Uh, because there are a lot of stuff out there. So it's very handy. Um, and I will also encourage you to uh, do hands-on challenge here, which is very good. And, um, and you know, they give pretty cool stuff, okay? So that's uh, what I wanted to cover on SoCal. Then we... Uh, go ahead and we'll talk about social, right? So it's very interesting, right? Uh, when you talk about the, you know, Salesforce object search language. So what happens is that in case of SoCal, right? You know which object to search for uh, the record. But what if you if you wanted to search for, say, uh, Jack or John, and you don't know where uh, that data resides, right? So in that case, you will use 
social query, right? Um, so let me give you a very classic example. So, so we don't use select here, right? In this case, we use find. And let's say M Joe, right? Let's say I wanted to find Joe. I don't know where Joe resides, which objects. So um, just let me close this tabs. Just too many noise out there, right? This too many tabs. I call them noise. Too many tabs. I just hate it. It just gets messy and you see. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what happens when you see Joe, right? Okay, so it tells you that um, you, okay, it, it returns you a result saying that, okay, you're looking for Joe, here is the Joe, it's in contact, right? Very handy. Um, so let's say, what if you want to find tests, right? Um, so you see, you get tests in all, all this, um, different objects. You have tests in a beer sold, you have tests in property management. Um, so you, so this is very handy when you, when you're not sure, uh, where your data resides in which object. I mean, you can, um, do a lot of stuff with it. So, and let's say you wanted to, uh, restrict this, right? Uh, to only to account. Let's say I wanted to get only uh, the result from an account, right? So uh, let's say returning. Uh, I hope I typed the syntax correctly. And the name. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there you go. You got this one, right? So I got only the account. And the funny thing. Uh, not funny, really. I mean, interesting thing is you can use a where clause here as well. Where name equals to, let's say I wanted to return only test five, right? Yeah. There you go. You can filter it. You can even use order by. And let's say where name like, okay. Um, just a second. Um, okay. Let's say name like this. Uh, spin or percentage. All right, so let's see order by. Um, uh, name descending. Let's see if it works. All right, see, you can do order by here as well. So similar to circle, but a little bit different in terms of syntax, right? Um, so uh, let's see if I can return ID. Okay, so you can return any fields you want, right? So you can return ID, you can put comma and return whatever fields you want belonging to that object. Um, you can also return, um, let's say, you can return from a multiple objects. Uh, let's say, hang on. Let me go back to social, the first one, and now this one. Uh, beer underscore uh, sold. Hopefully, I can. Okay. Beer underscore sold underscore C. Okay, hopefully, it's name. No, it doesn't return for somebody. Okay. All right. Um, let's see, I'm going to return contact just for a sec. Right, so it doesn't find anything in the contact. Um, so it returns the account. So uh, something like this, you see, <clears throat> you can use uh, multiple uh, objects to return the social query. So, uh, I haven't used this. I mean, I don't use this much unless it's really required, but <clears throat> you can use it uh, depending upon the context, right? And you can uh, see, you can re-go through the syntax. So this is the very, the, the one which I've showed you right now, right? This is the most commonly used uh, way of using social, um, which is good. And you can go through, uh, you can use a single phrase and uh, and a double phrase. But one thing I just wanted to tell you, I wanted to enforce that, um, please 
uh, restrict your search to the exact match because what happens is that if you wanted to uh, use social in an efficient way right uh, please narrow down your search I mean if you just put something like test right that's uh, oh okay give me test it will give you tons of thousands of results which is not really ideal right so there's no point in using that so you need to let's say I wanted to find someone called Jack I mean Jack who I mean do you want to find Jack Smith or you wanted to find Jack Regan or you wanted to fight you know so you need to uh, um, restrict your search uh, to or you in other words you need to narrow down your search right if you wanted to uh, use the social in a very efficient way so yeah I'll put down the link so uh, go through it and and then you can you'll find out uh, all the stuff and so this is an example of a very classic example of a um, social in an apex right so where you're saying okay find either of them right you can use bingo or an SFDC um, in account and contact and store that into um, the list of list of object right so and pretty straightforward so you can because you know that uh, you are actually getting um, two uh, S objects list back so that's why you use this and um, but if you're not sure then it's become a bit, bit challenging right so yeah I mean go through this and um, it's very important for you to know uh, social before you attend platform dev um so yeah I mean I, and as as I mentioned I will put the reference uh, link down below uh, so that uh, it will be easier for you um so I will highly encourage you to do hands-on challenge um, and go through this documentation so yeah that's pretty much I wanted to cover today because today's le uh, lecture has been as I mentioned it's it's pretty uh, short compared to the other ones uh, so the next time we're gonna jump into the database triggers uh, so that's very important topic you need to know how to write triggers uh, triggers uh, because if you're a developer you might end up writing a lot of triggers uh, depending upon the business requirement again so yeah I hope you find this uh, lecture valuable uh, so please as I mentioned please go through the documentation before you attempt platform dev it's very important to you at least do a hands-on before uh, trailhead is the best place so uh, big shout out to all the trailhead uh, members out there who create amazing content so yeah uh, so I would really encourage you to please check out the trailhead um, or Google uh, social and uh, try different scenarios you know invent a business scenario and you know query right different queries you want order by uh, create a custom object write a query on that uh, create a uh, create a relationship uh, between two objects and then try to fetch those right using uh, as I mentioned the other day underscore uh, sorry uh, using a relationship uh, uh, you know uh, instead of uh, underscore C you make you put underscore R uh, so dot the word of a name right so yeah so it's it's important you understand the concept why we use it uh, right not remembering syntax is not good enough because yeah syntax you can learn you know easily so you just need to understand on what context we use order by on what context you use group by group by if you wanted to use any kind of aggregate functions right uh, like sum of uh, group by is very handy when you wanted to get the sum of uh, of, of a product or you know or a sum of or account of a, a s objects in a in a uh, in an account or or different um, objects right self objects so you can use group by to do that um, so all aggregate functions uh, group by comes in a picture so uh, if you're someone from SQL server backgrounds you might see uh, you might know was group by really well okay so that's pretty much I wanted to cover guys I uh, thank you very much uh, for your time today I hope you have an amazing evening. Take care. Bye.